and welcome back. It's 845 on AM Extra. It's time for Wine Wednesday. And when it comes to wine tasting, the food pairings almost just as important as the wine itself. So that's mm -hmm. why a local winery is stepping up its culinary game. You can't just wash it down. You gotta have something to wash yeah, it down. You sure with, do. Right? The Fullerton Wines Tasting Room in Northwest Portland has welcomed a new chef, and along with him, a brand new dining menu. Joining us uh, live right now to tell us about these new dishes is Chef Rob Grisham. Morning. There he is. You've got your apron on and everything else like that. First of all, uh, I want you to tell us about some of these new culinary offerings. Would you do me a favor and the viewers a favor first and just tell us where Fullerton Wines is and then a, a little bit about the new menu offerings? Yeah, we are located at 1966 Pettigrove um, up in the Pearl um, right here in beautiful Portland. Um, and I've, I've recently started here um, and starting, starting the new menu, kind of switching things up. Um, Joined teams with uh, Alex and uh, his parents, Eric and Suzanne. We're showing some pictures then, of some food right there. What are we? What are we looking at? Let's get into the menu offerings because it's about, yeah, it's yeah, about absolutely. lunchtime for me. Yeah. So uh, we got some uh, fried celery root croquettes there. Some homemade uh, ravioli that you see uh, made with butternut squash wow. and toasted pistachios. Uh, that's our burger. Um, something we offer every day. Uh, the whole menu is available. Uh, during our hours. Um, it's the same menu right now. We're kind of looking to, you know, possibly delve into lunch in the future. Uh, but yeah, currently that's our active menu. That's the uh, also the radicchio salad that you saw there uh, with the shaved apple on, on top. So. Jeez, it all sounds and, and looks, looks just wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so, so how do you come up with these these menu items when you when you uh, join a new a new place of work? I mean, do you look at the wines and think what pairs well with with certain wines? How, how do you get inspired to, to create these dishes? Yeah, you know, it's it's all about kind of seasonality and kind of where you are regionally as well. Talking again with Alex, kind of seeing what kind of wines he's doing um, and also offering people um, like the people in Portland want something different than someone who lives in, say, L.A. or New York, you know, so you kind of have right. to be uh, area specific. But it just kind of it's, you know, half whimsy and half kind of what's available at the market and kind of what's what will really drive customers in. To enjoy the wine there as well. So. And what good restaurant would not have uh, pasta on the menu there? I understand you might have <laughs> absolutely a bit of a show and tell with us in terms of pasta there, showing uh, showing us yeah. how to make your pasta. Yeah. So uh, currently on the menu, uh, which you saw in the the image, is a, a squash ravioli here, which I rolled out a few. Um, I was going to roll some on TV, but it's, it's a little loud. So um, <laughs> I've had, I got a, a few shapes here That's for good. you. There you go. Um, right there. That's good. A little slick. Yeah. So. Hold on. Hold them up there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you there. go. Yeah. So yeah, just, just give me one moment. This is proving to be a touch more difficult. Than <laughs> <laughs> it's no problem. We, we deal with this so. all the time. I had to pretend to bake earlier, and I, I don't know how to cook. So this is your. Yeah. Now, what are those? What are those things so, filled with? Yeah. So, so this is filled with uh, winter squash. Our different shapes here. We have um, a ravioli, um, a more simple. Uh, kind of ravioli. This is more raviolo, and then this is aniolotti uh -huh. as well. So, something we'll be switching up often. There'll always be um, a seasonal offering on the menu of pasta, whether it's capoletti or kind of um, a different extruded type of pasta. That's always something that we're going to be offering here. You know, as as well as our our normal menu, which offers uh, some vegetarian options, meat. Fish, you know, something for everybody. Got about a minute left here. Put some of these foods together with the with the Fullerton wines that you that you're all about as well. Um, what do you mean by that? Oh, just what what what's good with what? What would be good with that uh, with that ravioli with uh, the butternut squash and what wine Fullerton wine in particular would be good with that? Yeah, um, and actually, you're you're catching me on news. I'm I'm actually not a drinker. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. So so I would say. I mean, everybody here, I've heard multiple people say who've had multiple wines with that same dish, uh -huh. that it all works very well. You know, it's kind of like if you like if you like the wine and you like the food, I think you can make a lot of things work. It's not necessarily so strict as to right. this goes with that. I, I would right. say that our menu lends itself well to all of our wines. I like yeah, that. that. Yeah, I like make... that approach. That's a little easier for me to swallow. Yeah, anyway. that, that, got... that, that makes sense. I mean, it's, in some of the wines that we have here from Florida's in front of us, you know, obviously uh, the Northwest is massive in, in its Pinot Noir. So uh -huh. a Pinot uh -huh. with that yes, pasta yes. 
is not going to hurt anything. You will, you will, I'm sure, have a great, great time. So that, the, uh, that, that seems like a the best solid bottle of wine. The best bottle of wine to go with what I'm eating is whatever bottle of wine is in front of me. Yes, is, uh, from that school <laughs> exactly, right there. exactly. That's, that's a good deal. Well, any uh, events or special events coming up that we need to be aware of over at Fullerton? Yeah, so uh, every Thursday we do tasting menus. I do a five course um, dinner. It, it changes weekly. Um, wow. That's something that you can you can apply for or not apply for. Uh, you can do your reservations online uh, through our website. Um, and going into the new year, that's something we're going to be offering a few more days a week as well. Um, our menu will be changing, kind of quarterly, seasonally, you know, and always you know stop back to see what's new. It's it's going to be interesting. All right. Hey, Chef Rob, uh, Grant, uh, Rob Grisham, I should say, with Fullerton Wines. Thanks for uh, taking some time out here, showing us a little of bit of those ravioli and this pasta with that butternut squash stuffing. Looks good. Yes, it does. Have a good holiday. We'll see you around. Absolutely. Happy holidays to you, too. Happy you holidays. It. Appreciate that. See you. All right, and that wine bar and tasting room located near Northwest Pettigrove Street and 20th Avenue. It's right in between there, the, the Pearl and, and that Slabtown area, if you're, yep. if you're looking for yep. it. So to make a reservation, you can visit FullertonWines.com.